Victoria is not the only one who sees opportunity ahead. The head of robotics and research at the ACED Institute in Delhi says he's preparing students to work on the technology of the future. To make these robots, to maintain these robots, we need people. A lot of people. Way more than what we have right now. And for that we need to train our new generation that is coming in. Devaka Vash developed what he describes as India's first 3D printed humanoid robot. He unveiled Manav in 2015 and is now working on a larger version. Vash said he felt the need to make low-cost research robots after finding a hefty price tag on other options in the market. If we uh, are finding it a problem to actually get a robot that expensive, the people here in India, um, they might not have access to that kind of robot. Our talent over here, the young students in the colleges and in the schools, they might not have access to that kind of robot, which is very necessary uh, for, their, for their learning process. Fash won't say how many he's sold, but he says he is preparing for thousands of orders. In addition to humanoid robots, Vash also works on healthcare applications. He's created a wheelchair controlled by brainwaves for paralysed patients and is preparing to launch a low-cost prosthetic hand. Vash plans to move into a new facility in 2017 where he hopes to mass produce his robots. When we make things here in India, then the transportation cost, the uh, taxation, everything gets way more uh, reduced in every single manner. And then uh, you can have much more affordable goods. And I see a lot of opportunities for making robots for the, for the entire world and not only for a specific country. So I think uh, the whole of the thing the crux of the thing is that we need to work together to bring in uh, a very huge technological change that will completely transform the world.